Nice cup you got there, Vash. <laughs> oh, leave me in my Viking mug alone. Welcome to part 13. All right, guys, so today we're going to be covering leave only footprints. This is a really, really easy quest. All we have to do is clear four husk encampments in a nine plus zone. Can I be your superhero? We need to complete two missions in a nine plus zone. Any two missions in the right zone level, uh, we can do two encampment missions or one encampment mission and clear four encampments and then any other mission we want. Uh, it's really just that simple. You basically just need to do an encampment mission and then do any other mission. As long as they're in nine plus zones, you're good to go. You can pick these missions either by pressing A to go to map or or you can go to your map directly, click on Stonewood, and then go look at the missions right here, and you'll see you'll have a variety of different options. Now, if you look on the map for my map, every map's gonna look different, but in my map right now, I have only one option for an encampment mission, and it's actually in a 15 plus zone. So I'm gonna have to bring my A game if I wanna beat this one solo. So as you can see, on the map, we have to destroy five encampments in order to complete this mission. We need four encampments cleared in order to complete the quest. So by completing one encampment mission, we're going to complete the first part of the quest, no problem. The first encampment shows up on the map as an exclamation mark, and we just have to run towards it and defend it. Well, not defend it, destroy it. And as you can see, it makes a giant beacon of light, allowing you to find it more effectively. If you can't see it on the map, you can actually see it just by looking into the sky from off in the distance. So the encampments are very easy. You just have to fight, destroy all the enemies that spawn out of the encampment, and the encampment will explode, giving you a nice little present with a nice little reward. As you can see, a bunch of crafting materials. This is actually one of the best ways of collecting crafting materials in the entire game. So now if we look off into the distance, we can see another beacon of light. That shows us where we're going. We know the next location. We need to run there as quick as we can. We need to destroy five encampments in order to complete this mission successfully, which is not always easy if you're running solo. You only have so much time, and you gotta hustle if you wanna be able to kill all those, you know, by the time the mission ends. Now, you need to really make sure that you hustle because depending on how lucky you get, sometimes the beacons of light will spawn very close to you and you don't have to travel very far, but other times you have to run a very long way to get to them and it can be uh, a real problem if you get yourself distracted with farming uh, or treasure hunting or, you know, just getting distracted from the task at hand. Make sure you use your hero abilities as best you can. I'm using one of my favorite heroes, Survivalist Jonesy. He heals himself whenever he kills a target, and he's got a nice little shockwave, which is a great tool for hitting multiple enemies, just like the frag grenade. Frag Grenade might be a little bit more effective in the early game because you can use it multiple times, but the Shockwave is actually still very, very good. And late game Shockwave is just absolutely amazing, and I would say much better than the Frag Grenade. There we go, got some nice crafting materials there to make some weapons, and we're looking for the next Beacon of Light. And you can see right there, off in the distance, I can see it very faintly. We got to hustle because like I was saying, that is a long way to run and we are running out of time. We only have 13 minutes left and we still have to kill three more encampments if we want to succeed in this mission. All right, here we go. Next encampment. And now another thing to note is that these encampments come in different sizes. This one's a medium encampment, but these encampments will actually change. Uh, they will become stronger the more encampments you destroy the stronger the encampments will become. So they start off really, really easy, but eventually they will actually start spawning multiple waves of enemies. Instead of just clearing one wave, you'll have to clear more than one. And there we go, there's a second spawn. As you can see, they hit us with a second wave of enemies. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies, holy cow. Oh, I'm in trouble, oh, I'm dead. Oh, wow, look at that. So yeah, two waves of enemies was a little much. A little more than we can handle. We're actually going to use one of our revives right now. 
We got five lives remaining. Normally at higher levels, you don't get that many lives, but since this is still early, all right, so shockwave. Okay, so we have 22 seconds before our shockwave comes back, which, you know, is trouble because now we get hit by another wave of these guys and we don't have any AOE to clear them all out. So we need to shoot really fast and try to hit all the guys that are not shielded and then try to take out the shields. And we got another shockwave up. We're going to use that right now. The little guys and the ranged guys are should be your primary targets because those are the ones that are really going to hurt you really, really badly. Oh, foof. Okay, so. Oh, wow, they're still coming. Okay. Okay, next one. There it is right there. And we got to hustle. We're down to 10 minutes. So we get about five minutes to kill each encampment. We have 10 minutes and we need to kill two more in order to beat the level. So we got to run, run, run. Now what I'm hoping is that we'll be able to beat these really, really fast. And I'll have some time to farm for materials so I can make some more weapons. Okay, so now another trick we can do is we can go put a wall launcher here. Or uh, not a wall launcher, but a wall dart. Oh, dang it. Wow, we got beat up really bad. Okay, so we're going to put that down. We're going to kill these range guys. Ooh, we're in trouble. No, we're done. All right, we got destroyed. See, we should have had that trap prepared before we got here. Uh, trying to craft it in combat was a really bad idea. So we're going to revive right now and ambush them while they're not looking. Okay, so now we're going to run back to our trap here. I accidentally made this because I did a panic build. There we go. So now... There, so we now we made it so the enemies have to come in to get us. They gotta run into our trap. Oh, where is this guy? So now the enemies are gonna spawn, they're gonna run into our trap, and our trap's gonna help us fight. And use our stomp here. Gotta push them back. And there we go. So our trap actually helped us win that. So we're going to actually make another one of these. Because this was really effective. We're going to go make another one of those traps. Because these, these encampments are getting harder for sure. And we need to make sure that we give ourselves a little bit of an advantage while fighting them. Now the thing with using traps to fight against encampments is you have to, you have to build them fairly far back away from the encampment. Uh, because all of the floors, any floor pieces that you build close to an encampment, uh, will get completely destroyed, and it can knock down all of your, you know, all your structures. So you need to be careful not to build too close to an encampment. Otherwise, uh, you could be in trouble. You might lose all your, all of your hard-earned mats, all of your traps, all gets exploded, and that's just no good at all. Okay, so now we kind of trigger a mess Happy here. Happy 18 months. Come to the, the Vash Core. So oh, yeah! Ones. One, two, three, four. Carpentry Hero just subscribed. Happy 18 months. There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Shoot. Oh, geez. Wow, we're in trouble. I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, so yeah, I screwed up. What I did wrong is I accidentally placed an anti-air trap because I forgot to select the trap before the fight started, right? So what you want to do is you want to go and select the trap that you want. So if I want to build this trap, I build the trap. Then I have to select the trap. Like so. That way, when I go to pull it out and build, it automatically selects it first. And if it was up first, then Welcome we could have you you know, protected oh, yeah. yourself and used it to actually defend. So now we're going to go like this. Now we have a nice little pocket here where we're able to hide. All the enemies will come from the front side. So they have to fight the trap before they fight us. So because we went and built this little, this little trap before we fought the encampment, now we're able to hide around the corner, make them come into us. And we can use the trap to actually fight. 
So we're going to go ahead and use this here. Try to blow them all up. Oh, we're in trouble again. Holy cow. These guys are nasty. Nasty little fighters. They're pretty high level on me. So we got to fight really, really effectively. It might have actually been a good idea to put some uh, slow spikes on the ground here. Some wooden floor spikes would have slowed all the enemies, slowing them down, making it much easier for me to actually deal with them. I don't know if I have time for that, though. So we're going to go on shockwave. And then we're going to put... There's our spikes on the ground there. And this should make this much, much easier. Yeah, look, it slows them all down. Does a bunch of damage. There we go, that's better. It even killed a lot of them. Did a bunch of damage. And we did it. There we go. There's our fifth encampment done. And that's it. All you need to do is do five. You could actually go for bonus super encampments. Now, these encampments get even harder. Uh, they spawn even more enemies. Uh, so you need to either bring a team or really prepare with traps. Uh, there are other ways that I could have done this. I could have went and uh, put a, a gas trap right here over top of the wooden floor spikes. That would have done a lot of damage. Uh, and give me a you know a pretty huge advantage against the the enemies, but uh, these things are really really tough if you plan on uh, soloing. If you're planning on soloing the entire encampment yourself, uh, you're gonna have to bring real good weapons or really really good traps. Mostly traps. Traps are the way that you be most content that is higher level than you and very difficult. Uh, you need to be smart. You need to prep your you know prepare using traps in strategic locations with strategic, you know, uh, designs to maximize their effectiveness for the least amount of cost. Uh, we're going to go and spend the rest of our time farming for materials to prepare for the next quest. We finished the first encampment mission. We got, we actually got five, five husk encampment clears, uh, which is the minimum that you can do and actually complete an encampment mission. So we easily got that. We got our four out of four. We actually got five out of five. Five out of four. Uh, now we need to complete a second mission, also in a nine plus zone. And we're going to go pick something easy because that one was stressful. That was a high level mission. That was a level 15. That was in a level nine. It just so happened that the only mission we had access to was a level 15 power level mission, which is quite a bit stronger than us. And it was horrible. It had healing death burst, which is the the, the, the worst, just the most nightmarish uh ability you can possibly come up against whenever you kill one enemy it heals all their friends so you know it makes aoe really really ineffective and it makes you know you got to really focus one enemy down at a time which is very problematic acid pools is also was a huge problem being that it, you know it's a higher level zone than us uh, we were taking a lot of damage and it made it very very difficult to stay alive you know being in a solo situation we really had to prepare trap tunnels which is highly unusual for an encampment mission, but when you're solo, you got to do what you got to do. So, uh, yeah, we were forced to do a very difficult mission, uh, and now we're going to do a very easy mission. We're just going to go a resupply mission so we can get a bunch of traps, trap materials, so that we can, uh, yeah, have a lot more traps and a lot more guns and weapons ready for the next quest. Okay, so this is a resupply mission. We need to harvest vehicles, crates, rocks, and search anything. There we go, and that's it, we're out. And that's it, that is our leave only footprints. We just had to do two missions. One had to be an encampment so we can complete our encampments in a successful nine plus zone. The second one was just any mission at all and we banged it out and that's it, easy peasy. We'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah! Like you, be strong. Switch the damn weapon! You p all right, happy? guys, the bid war is open. Are you happy? Join me for the next round of Save the World. It's a Place your bins freaking out trash can with disgusting juice you in it. You died first, Lol. Well, oh my god, you're such a trash teammate. I know. You almost missed that. Hey, <laughs> You know what? That. The way that I do that. It causes, like, saliva to come back up a little bit. Gross. Well. Okay, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> However, um, I just ate a spicy chicken burger. Oh, that's probably helpful for you.
and it was like no no, no. it's like burning coming back oh, up into no. the back of my yeah. throat i'm like ur, ur, oh, oh, oh god what have i done i made a terrible mistake oh god <laughs> oh jeez